Hello, I'm Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today let's have a look at this 1973 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This car is from the C3 generation of the Corvette, and 1973 was the last year to have any chrome bumpers. Metallic blue exterior, door handles up here, just push down, with a dark blue interior, which I believe is vinyl. As you can tell, handle, door locks, as well as the door handle. This is an automatic. This currently shows 7,200 miles on it. And we'll close the door. Take the key. And we'll fire it up. So starting here on the interior, you do have a light switch over there with a vent down below. Turn signals here. Brights on the floor down here. 160 mile per hour speedometer with the tachometer to the right. Corvette emblem, Chevrolet Corvette on the steering wheel. Just have a horn. No airbag. Wipers up here. Vents. Fuel gauge, water temperature, an analog clock, oil pressure, and battery gauges in the middle. Radio, which is original. Does kind of work. Presets down here, AM, FM, very simple to use. Come control, down here. This car does have a three-speed automatic transmission. With a little data plate showing your engine displacement, foot torque, as well as the compression ratio, with the Corvette emblem to the right. Emergency brake in the middle, power windows. And so we'll flip on the headlights, as well as the flashers. And we'll go ahead and check out the outside. As you can tell, this car does have flip-up headlights with four round headlights in them. Grills down below with the turn signals. Cowl induction hood. With the flared, with the flared fender arches. And something interesting about these Corvettes, as you can tell, there's no gap right here. This is all one piece of fiberglass that goes all the way around the front. Windshield. With the windshield wipers hidden below. Mirror. Car does have T-tops, which I will demonstrate how to remove later in the video. Antenna on the back. Luggage rack on the rear, because there is no trunk. Take off the T-tops, it's very simple. You just pull down on each of these levers, and then pull out and the T-top will slide right off.
As you can tell, I have both the T-tops off. Exhaust down below. Fuel cap is in the center of the back right here. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. In normal Corvette fashion, it does open reverse. This Corvette features a 350 cubic inch V8. With air conditioning. So thank you all for watching this video of the 1973 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Be sure to check out Moto Exotica's info in the description below. And I'm out of here. See ya!